Yo, Jeff from Codenbox here. Wanted to document some of my progress on uh, game dev, which was something that I wanted to learn in 2021. So it's kind of fun to, to take a look back. And uh, the year started out with me uh, wanting to learn more about Python. And uh, so I, I did uh, last year's game jam in Pygame, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of frustrating working with a language you don't really know, but it was still neat to kind of put things together and, and look back and, and going back and playing it now that I've kind of forgotten a little bit about it. I see just how much uh, imagination it required in order to kind of make it make sense. And so I feel bad for anyone who uh, tried playing it because it was pretty obtuse. Um, but uh, I still have some fond memories. I wouldn't mind remaking that uh, much better someday. Uh, the next thing I got here uh, is uh, kind of a, an idea I have for like an Excite Bike clone. And so I kind of prototyped it out after working through a couple courses on Unity after taking several months off. <laughs> Uh, in the middle of the year. I think I picked this back up in like October or something. So I took like nine months off. Um, but uh, yeah, it was pretty fun kind of just working with physics and 3D stuff. And um, I mean, you can see I made some crappy ramps just by like rotating uh, rectangles and stuff. And uh, yeah, so um, that was pretty rough, but uh, you know, it was me learning new stuff. But then rather than finish that, I had this great idea that I should try and kind of bring in some third party assets and uh, immediately went off the rails with what I was trying to do. And I was learning about train a little bit about, um, you know, third party and just integrating third party assets. And so that was pretty rough, but it was a learning experience and it was a lot of fun. I uh, just bring in the pretty pictures and I definitely uh, learned a few lessons, which I uh, will hopefully, um, you know, <laughs> not uh, not to repeat the problems at least but uh, you know I quickly kind of got tired of what I started there and blew it all away and, and um, kind of started uh, an evolution of the idea where I would take the third party assets that I uh, had brought in and try to make a little game where like the uh, modern world was kind of uh, I don't know in infringing on your uh, <laughs> natural, natural world and uh, that was pretty rough too and uh, this is the one I've been spending uh, most of my time with like the last, uh, I don't know, week or two here. Uh, still third party assets, but you can see I started bringing in some concepts of the like lighting and um, like uh, like volumetric fog and URP and just post-processing effects and stuff. So uh, things will definitely look a little nicer, but um, it, I do think it's starting to look a little bit more like a game, but I still have a long way to go, and I'm just realizing how much there is to just making something work, uh, let alone making something actually enjoyable. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'd like to, to learn in 2022. So yeah, that was it. Thanks.